Hi everybody, it's Lisa. I'm checking in for this week. I haven't talked to you guys in several, several days. Um, I was so excited to vlog when I got back from Chattanooga. I wanted to update you guys. And there just hasn't been a chance. We had to hit the ground running. And so I brought all my information outside. My husband is working with my daughter on her homework and there's a lot of activity going on inside. So I decided to come out here. Um, first, I will tell you one of the reasons I didn't vlog as soon as we got home was because I didn't weigh on Saturday. So I didn't know until Sunday morning what my actual losses were. And it turns out that I had a zero release. I had a goose egg. Uh, I came home on Sunday at the exact same thing I weighed when we left at 168.8. And on Monday, I weighed 168.4, so I had a .4 release. On Tuesday, 816, I was at 167.6, which was a .8 release. And then finally this morning, 817, uh, VLCD 30 for me, I had a .6 release, which brought me to 167 pounds even. So. I'm really hoping to get to 165 or even below that before I go into P3. But if it doesn't happen, you know what? I I am so happy with what I've been able to do this round. This is round two for me, and I am currently 15.4 pounds below my LDW from round one. I am at a total loss of 37.8 pounds for both rounds, so almost at 40 pounds. See why I want to get to 165. Uh, just really excited about that. I have lost 23 pounds total for round two. Uh, that is including my eight pounds of loading weight that I gained. Um, other than that, I just wanted to tell you uh, a little bit about Chattanooga. There were some real challenges there. Um, being with our great friends from Louisiana was such a blessing. It was just great to see them. They are some of our favorite people in the whole world. And um, it was a treat being away from all of our responsibilities with them because we just got to chill and relax and um, it was great. As far as the food went, um, I ate mac nuts all day on Friday and then was saving up to have a big steak that night, which I was going to indulge. I was going to have a nice size steak. I had been good all day long. I uh, had made, you know, great choices from my little mac nut stash. But uh, when we got to this restaurant that served ribs, which we, we had asked the the lady at the hotel we were staying at, does this rib place have steaks? Oh, yes, they have great steaks there. They didn't have steaks. We didn't know that until we sat down to actually order, and I just about cried. I was, I mean, it was 9 o'clock at night. I had waited all day long for this meal, and it didn't exist. So it turned out okay, though. I had brisket with no sauce on it, just the meat, and then I had um, green beans and I had a salad with magic dressing on it. You know the one, MCT oil, apple cider vinegar, uh, I love that stuff and it just does wonders <laughs> for um, making me feel full and so, and it gives me a lot of energy too, I just, I love it, it works great for me. So, um, I ate that meal. I just felt like I had cheated really big time. Uh, so, it, it made me really happy when I got home and I had a goose egg. I mean, I've never been so excited to have a goose egg in my life. But, um, other than that, I'm trying to think. We just, we have a lot of uh, personal stuff going on right now. One of the challenges is I am now working with a team of moms that make the flags for the color guard that my daughter's in this year. It's new to her. Um, she is in the marching band and I have spent the last two days cutting out 
pieces and parts for the flags that they use because they have either three or four flags and there are 30 girls on the color guard so you can do that math I mean there's just an incredible a whole lot to be done and I'm I'm doing that on top of my job and uh, and it's a lot also <laughs> There's, there have been incredible personal stresses this week that I did not see coming, and um, quite honestly, I wasn't ready for it. It's been very exciting to me to see how mentally I've responded with something other than food. My mind this rounds, especially with the things that have happened in the last few days, I've not, my brain has not gone to the food for its fix, for some kind of reward or comfort or just uh, thank you God that has just not been the way it's worked and so um, in fact yesterday and today have been foyer days for me. I went to zero percent fat and I love that stuff. I had only done full fat before because I didn't want to take in those carbs, but I've had great releases. I uh, had a great release yesterday, and I look forward to a great release tomorrow, hopefully. And um, then I'm going to hit a couple of VLCDs and just do my regular 500 calorie thing. And I'm getting ready to close out into P3. So I'm very excited about that. Those of you who have seen my older vlogs know that I'm a huge fan of P3. I do great in P3. I'm hoping I have a successful P3 again. I'm going to be taking a break. I'm actually going to go into P4 this time and because uh, you know the the holiday season is also every birthday, every anniversary, extended family, everything falls between September 11th and January 16th. So uh, I'm not going to be worrying about HCG during that time. It's not realistic for me. I typically have a meltdown around November anyway. <laughs> so I, I just know that I do not need to try to do that. So I will be back in January, at probably the end of January. And um, I'm just hoping and praying that I can stand on what I've learned so far and be consistent and make good choices and um, staying active really isn't a, a challenge for me as far as wanting to stay active because I'm a very active I mean I love to work out I love it so it's not that it's the time it's finding the time to do that and I like to get up and get it done first thing in the morning before it gets hot and uh, we're headed into fall. It's perfect walking season. So got myself some Nordic walking poles. I'm excited about that, Miss HCG girl. You inspired me. Pole walking. It's all the rage. Um, other than that, uh, not much to report. I just wish you guys great releases. Happy stabilization. Hope you're stabilizing great. And um, I just love you guys. My fitness pals, YouTube, Facebook, hope you're doing great. I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.